y'all what up welcome back to my channel how are y'all doing today so the devil is really sneaky and there was an incident that happened yesterday at my home my husband came home from work and you know, I did my typical routine where I got the dogs in their places so that they, my husband wouldn't be attacked by the dogs when he came home. And as my husband was walking up to the front porch, he made a, a weird noise and he started acting a little differently. So I looked out the window and I'm like, okay, what's going on? And I open the door and my husband says, shut the door. There's a snake out here. So there's a snake on my front porch that I didn't even know that danger was there. And uh, before, like I, my dogs wanted out at this point. But I had to keep them safe in the house in their special zones that I put them in, you know, to not only keep my husband safe when he walks to the door, but also keep my animals safe. But my husband ended up killing the snake. My husband killed the danger that was just lurking outside. And you know what, that, to me, that just proves, that just presents such a beautiful, godly message. You're, you're in your spot and you think that you are safe. You don't see the danger that is lurking right around the corner or just outside. You, you don't see it. God and Jesus, they see the danger. And they send, God sends his angels to protect you and defend you from the danger outside. They are, they are going, they are out to kill the danger that is out to harm you so that they can protect you because you are you belong to Jesus how amazing is that that we may not see the danger approaching but God sees it Jesus sees that danger approaching and says uh 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 not today devil they're mine I'm going to defend what I bought and paid for on that cross. I am going to defend my adopted children. I am going to defend them. I'm going to keep them safe. And it is so amazing to me how Jesus loves us so much. He gave up everything. He came from heaven to earth. He died on the cross at Calvary. He bought and paid for our sins. Our debt that we owed that we could never pay. He paid it for us. All we have to do is accept the free gift of God. The free gift of Jesus. A lot of people reject it. And there is... The devil is lurking around the corner. The devil is looking for his opportunity. The devil in his demons look to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus has his army of angels that are protecting us. That are keeping us safe from the danger we do not see. Hallelujah. And sometimes God 
God will put us in a situation. Maybe your car broke down from for some mysterious reason. Or it won't start for a mysterious reason and you don't understand what's going on. But then all of a sudden your car eventually does start. And it acts like it, ne it it's fine. It acts like it never had a problem. And, you know, you hear stories like that all the time. And it's like, oh, I don't understand. Well, God was probably protecting you from something a lot worse. Like, I, I remember, there's been so much, so many examples. But I remember one time, uh, I was working at a Taco Bell. And, uh, I was supposed to get off at a certain time. Well, I felt in my spirit, like, hey, I, you know, I was kind of on the fence of being a believer and a non-believer at the time. Like, I believed in Jesus, but I kind of was doing my own thing. Backsliding, I guess that's it. But I felt, I remember, I felt something in my spirit. A very, like, I wanted to say no, but it was like, I felt that I needed to stay at work and I said okay I really don't want to stay at work I had to call my grandpa because he was going to pick me up and I had to tell him like hey I'm going to be a little late well he was already at the house where I was staying at to get my cousin because he was going to pick us both up and we were going to go stay at his house and I was like okay, I'm going to stay. I ended up staying a little over an hour, called my grandpa, came pick me up, he was around the corner, and, um, on the way there to his house, we ran into a wreck, and the timing of this wreck it will blow your mind the timing of this wreck if I would have left work when I was supposed to leave work I would have I would have there's a good chance we would have been in that wreck God keeps us safe even when even when you even when you backslide, he keeps you safe. Because he has a plan and a purpose for you. And his plan is to prosper you. To give you hope and a future. His plan is not to harm you. His plan is to keep you safe from the enemy and the darts he throws at you. And sometimes... He'll have something else really small happen to you to keep you safe from the big thing. And I just want to say thank you, Jesus, for always keeping me safe from things I may not even realize. But hallelujah. Just, it's like hallelujah. I am bought and paid for with the blood of Jesus Christ. I am sealed and sanctified until the day of redemption. Hallelujah. And you know what? If you look at your situation and you you like you can blow it off. Like I could have blown that snake thing off. Like oh, you know it was just this. But no, I saw it as something more. I saw it as a message. I saw it as something I, I saw it as an example of God's love. What the enemy meant for evil God will always turn it for good. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And I hope that um, that you will give your life to him today. Because he's waiting on you. The rapture is so soon. And 
I cannot wait until Jesus calls us home. Excuse me. Um, I'm asking you guys to pre please pray for those people who will be left behind. And if you're in a spiritual battle with somebody, keep fighting. Keep praying. Um, because I know I'm not the only one going through spiritual battles. I'm not the only one that is in a, basically a fight with the enemy to for somebody's soul. I mean, Jesus could do this without us, but he wants to use us, and that is so amazing. All right, guys, I do have to get off here. I have to run some errands. Um, I hope you guys have a good day, and I will talk to you later. I'll either see you in the rapture or my next video. Bye, y'all.